This is MH4 Designs. I'm going to try to show you how uh, I make the acrylic needles. A lot of people have been asking me what's the process. So, all right, I thought I'd do a video. First, I'll give you a couple of demos, uh, examples. The, the glitter inside. And here's a pink one. I'll show you this one. This is a good way to show you the weight. Here's a nice olive top one with the. This is just some of the examples. Here's one with a crackle top. It's kind of like once you get to a point, it's just like, you know, finishing a wood. Here, this one, I got the. Uh, I put my name inside the lure, if you can see that. But, um. And, um, here's another one. This is not actually acrylic. This is uh, polycarbonate. A little stronger, a little harder to work with. You don't get the uh, very, you know, the, the super clear. Like this one's very clear. You can see the inside, but this the polycarbonate is a little fuzzy, just from the glue up. So there's another polycarbonate. You can see how it's a little frosty inside. This one as well. But anyways, this is all going to be acrylic. So uh, these are all going to be examples. So what you're going to do is you're going to start out with a sheet like this. This is half inch. I didn't have any three eighths to show you. So, but I'll give you an idea. What you do is if you when you get the sheet like this, peel the paper off the big sheet. Because once you cut it up, it's just annoying to peel off each individual piece. But because peel it off, because at this point we don't need the protection. It's just a lot simple. That's a good tip. So you're gonna get the sheet, and then you're gonna rip them down. I ripped these down. That this is actual three eighths, the thickness that I always work with, and I always rip them down the three eighths. I mean three quarters strips. And once I get to that point. Then I find the center and I rip it down the table saw to put a nice, nice little groove down the middle. Just enough so I can get my through wire through in there. Like this. Once it, you know, it's a little square hole, so that's where you're going to wire it through. But this is also, we're going to use this wire. I'll show you when I glue it up. So just make sure they line up. Flip it over. So what I do first, here this one I'm going to use Martha Stewart's, um, this is sterling. I don't know what that means, but. So what I'm going to do, just spread it on there. Like that. You don't want too much because you're gluing these together. The more you put the glitter on, this it's going to not contact the two pieces of plastic with the glue but but you want enough to get it to cover it equally so the glue this stuff I get from Home Depot Lowe sells it too but I buy it from Home Depot because I think it's a couple it's a little cheaper not exactly sure I haven't bought it in a while so but I also use this I've used this I got it actually from a, a acrylic plastic place kind of the same thing I just been using this because I this is what I started with this is about the same they both basically do the same I really haven't figured out which is better but so I'm going to show this in the video so I recommend you wear gloves well ventilated so what I do is just get it to flow on there it's okay if it drags the glitter around because it's all going to get pushed around so get it down in the groove I do both sides so I get it done there alright so now I put the wire lay the wire in the groove flip it over and now just let it sit there Here's where it either works or doesn't work. So it's going to float around because now there's a big 
layer of glue. So just let it tack, you know, kind of work the bubbles out. So here's a good tip, is that all the stuff that oozes out, you want that to dry. Because that's going to dry quicker because it's exposed to the air. Because the thing is, that once you start to clamp it, it's going to push the, the glitter out. So you can glue, you can clamp it up so it stays this way. So you can handle it. And now, you know, that will keep it nice and straight. So you can either just like, see how it's already starting to gel up? It dries pretty quick, but if you get this to gel up, this will keep it from the, the uh, glitter pushing out. See if I push it down, it wants to spread out and thin out. So, but we're also gluing it together. So keep your clamps a little bit to the sides because we're gonna we want this three wire to move because this is how we're gonna. Well, that's setting up. I'll just get rid of this. All right. So we'll let that set. Usually when I'm making a bunch, I I would let it sit there for a while and I'll just move on to another one so let me just clean up I recommend wearing gloves because the stuff gets all over so the clamps will hold it there you can see it's already starting to I mean if I probably had a fan on this it would probably dry quicker but we still want to clamp it so you can kind of just push on it if you see the glitter starting to push out to the side it's not ready yet so this is a very key that you'll get a you get a hang of it when it's ready so I'm gonna let that sit I already got one I did earlier see this is all hardened up and this is what you're gonna come up with but I gotta show you how to clean out the hole so you would, yeah, I always just let it gel, gel up more so that it keeps the glitter inside. It doesn't, it, so it keeps it even, but you would eventually put three more clamps squishing it together. But I want to show you how to clean out the hole. So what I do is I always pull that out. Wipe that off. And what I do is I just push it through this way, push it all the way through, and pull it out the other end. And this will take all the excess. And all you need to do is just look down there, look it up at the light. If you see the light on the other end, it's all nice and clear. I highly doubt that this is going to show up on the. You can usually you can you can look right through there. Once you do that, you're good to go. You know, and but first I would clamp these on because once you do this, it's going to seal up the hole. It's still clear, but so I'm going to skip that part. You would just sit there and just wait till you can slowly get the clamps on here. I'll just do it. You can see how it, all the glitter pushes in. Kind of makes it uneven. But this is where the, the tricky part. So always check the hole. No, see it clogged up. So if the hole gets a little clogged, just wipe that off. And just run the wire through again. look down it and it's it's pretty much clean so this is actually done at this point just let that dry overnight and then work on you know work on it the next day so if here's another tip if it does you come back and you can't get the wire to run through it just put just put a, a wire, same, the same wire, cut it at a real angle, and what you could do is just run it through, and you can clean out the hole. 
and uh, so at this point you're gonna end up with this this is one that's already dry ready to go so what you do is just grind the excess off but uh, so the next step is to determine where you're gonna put the belly and your weight so what I do is just I always just line them up where you know I think after I make a whole bunch kind of know where I want it so what I do is I, I you get at this point always put the weight the router out so it's nice and square so you just run it on the router table right in the center and what I do next is I take a Dremel I get the Dremel with like a I guess it's a tile bit it's the, I don't know I'll have to if you ask me a question about it I'll find out exactly which one it is it's the most expensive uh, router bit or Dremel bit Home Depot has so what I normally do is I cut a, cut a groove out like here and here to give it the uh, let me see I got a picture of it <laughs> give it this look this is the if you're looking down this is the uh, the thing you routed out so that when you epoxy the weight in it, it it won't pop out when it hits a rock or anything it just stays in better so anyways so then what I do then is to get the weight I just router out you could do it in wood I was doing it in this plastic where it just popped the weight out and then you cut the piece, you know, shape it to go in here. You could lightly tap it in with a hammer or just set it in there. And then epoxy it in. And uh, that seems to work, the, you know, the best. Because I'll give you an example of this, this little, little one here. I actually poured it in hot. And when you pour the lead in hot, it actually, you know, the, uh, the heat burns the plastic. That's, you know, the glue that's exposed in the crack. So... But then, you know, I've tried, like, this one, or this one, I put tried to put a piece of paper in there to avoid the burning, but, see, you can see my logo is in the weight there. Or, you can just simply color the epoxy, like, to the plug, see, this is, I use this red one, the pink, so I put the pink in there to cover up the weight. See if we got anything else, but okay. Once you get a weight in there, it's gonna look like. Well, here's another. Oh, I, this is a blank. And what I do next? Here's another one that's got ready for. You can see the nice routered slot in there. And then I just drill out with the Forstner bit for the uh, swivel. And it's pretty much like a wood lure at this point. But I wanted to show you, back when I first started making them, I was thinking like wood. And um, I was doing the, you know, the round weight, which I found out they were, this is where they would break. So that's why I went to this, this groove. So that's a, you know, I, I was making a bunch like this. And they would break at this at this point because it's so thin on the side. So that's why I started making the weight narrow to give it more support. Here's another one. This one has the weight, the old style. A lot of these there are just came out of my bag. So, so this one you can see I actually filled it with glitter just to give it to kind of match. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but anyhow. So all right, so now we have the we have the weight glued in. So and then what I do is I I cut all the excess. Actually, this is this is half inch plastic. So I cut all this because plastic's hard to grind. So I cut all as much excess as I can. So I get to this point. A lot of steps and so what I'll do is I grind it and I use like the the, the roughest sandpaper I can find because you you don't want to you don't want to heat it up because if you start to heat it up it affects the glue and it starts to split I always give them the split right here so you got to be careful don't overheat it when you're grinding I'm trying to find it okay so I get it there 
and then you know you keep shaping it down and you could either scrape it with a um, grinding or scraping because if you scrape it, it scraping takes a lot of the plastic off as well but the scraping gives you a super smooth finish which you kind of don't want so when you apply the epoxy you want something that the epoxy will grab onto see here's one here I, I did it so smooth almost like to the pol of polished finish but the epoxy just chips right off and I've had bluefish just strip the, the uh, epoxy right off because there's nothing for the epoxy to grab onto so then I started another extra tip is doing them kind of rough so you know so some the epoxy has something to grip onto even though it's a it's a little frosty like this I'll get it wet here once I get it wet you can kind of see where what it's gonna look like when it's wet so the same thing does it lights up when you put the epoxy on it so and plus then you can paint it first and then the paint has something to grip onto too so once you get it to that point but uh oh actually i skipped that part when you ever would deal with plastic when you're drilling like a forstner bit is okay but when you, it's a drilled uh, steel bit you want to dull the the back edge of the bit so it doesn't crack it so when you're at this point you want to what i always do is i drill the grommet hole i have a little stop and i'll have a grommet so like the note excuse me the nose grommet fits in there so when you're wiring it through you want to do it at this point because once you get it to here you do it if you do it at this point it, it might split the and crack it open so that's just a good tip so I always do the uh, both ends because I the tail piece too so do do that then then start cutting it away and then shaping your lure and I'll just give you some examples so when you like you you have to seal somehow you have to seal this up or you just put some glue run some glue down there because the water will get inside the plug and uh, give it that um, it will discolor the the channel so just you know get some uh, epoxy down in there just to seal off the hole you could this is a good example of how the water's got in there and another thing is that when I tire when I always uh, ready to wire it up. I always epoxy the front nose just to give it a little more and I always put a little epoxy in the back so I always dye the epoxy red so it you know, gives it that red mouth look. So once you wire it through the stress of you know wrapping the wire doesn't crack the plastic up here so this is all epoxy just to give it some more strength and here's another uh, you know a, a thing where instead of sealing the thing you can just I like fill the channel with uh, pink here it's it's like hit or miss because sometimes the glue blocks away but you know here's the one I did in green I filled the channel with green and here's another if you can't find the 3 8 plastic this is actually a build-up I start I did these with I think uh, quarter inch I just cut, you know, I just stacked them because I had some green, clear, clear, and this is all clear. I have another one here. This is, uh, this is, uh, this is the fluorescent pink with clear on the side with glitter in between there. I mean, there's the, the, the layups could be endless because then I did this black one or it's like a smoke plastic on top. And then it's got a, a clear belly, so but then the glitter's on the belly. So when you the the I guess looking up at it, it's got the glitter, and then it's got a black top. So and here's this is what I may have had two of these in the process. So yeah, but see, I didn't do the I learned to do the routering out when it's still square. It's much easier. So that's another helpful hint tip, I should say. 
Um, here's a here's an example of where I put the glitter. So I put the blue glitter on top, and then I put a purple glitter on the bottom, and it glued it together. So it's already blue and purple, but then I just uh, put the um, I guess the metal paint the blue and then the metal paint of the uh, purple so it's got the purple and blue but it's also got the purple and blue glitter inside and then this is just the, here's a multicolored glitter I mean you can always experiment with the different types of glitter not all the glitter works here's got like a blue a little stubby you know this is a very I mean very old um, here's a blue one this one doesn't have glitter but it's just got a tape inside they glued in there so and here's a like a bigger glitter this is a good example of putting the red paint inside the two uh, in the you know the wire channel I guess you could call it but uh, and this is acrylic and these are some of the here's one like one of the first ones I tried with the acrylic but I didn't even put the weight in it so but a lot of these I use for bluefish and and you know here's here's one where I didn't make it square I kind of stacked it up and I guess I got a couple of these here's another one it wasn't, you know. So here's where I didn't weight it because I thought the a weight of the acrylic would do it, but so I added weight just so I can get a longer cast on it. And you can see how this is a blue on the top, and there's a pink in the belly. And, and like it's a hit or miss. You got to be very patient because see how it's got the gap. I don't know if you can see the gap in the glitter there. So. Like I said, it takes some trial and error. I mean, I don't do it perfect every time either, so. And here's one with a chunkier glitter. You just have to play around with it, but at least you get a couple hints, uh, tips, and, you know, it won't make all the errors that I did. And uh, so what you can do is that. Uh, for my tips for you, you can uh, click on the advertisement on the video and uh, help me out as I'm helping you out. So if you have any questions, I might have missed something or any questions in the process, just note it below and I'll respond to you. But uh, alright, thanks for watching.